Okay guys, we're working on duration and we're going to go all the way to semiquavers. I'll explain to you what that means. Our learning challenge is, can I read, write, say and play? A rhythm using semiquaver patterns. Can I read, write, say, and play a rhythm using semiquaver patterns? Well, if you remember back to when you were in year three and year four, we learned that a circle was a semi-breathe. You can start writing this down now. Circle equals semi-breathe equals four beats. Then take that circle, add a stick, and that makes a minim. A minim equals two beats. Then have another circle and a stick and colour it in. And that makes a crotchet. A crotchet equals one beat. These numbers halve each time. Four halves to two, two halves to one. Then we have the circle, the stick, coloured in, and a flick. And that makes a quaver. A quaver equals half a beat. And if you remember, normally we see quavers written like that, joined together. And that little group there lasts for one beat. That's because a half plus a half equals one. OK, what happens next in this sequence? Semi-breathe, minim, crotchet, quaver, four, two, one, a half. Well, this is where we have semi-quavers. You draw a circle and a stick, colour it in, draw the flick, and an extra flick. And that makes a semi-quaver. A semi-quaver is worth half of a half. If you are good at maths, you're going to be able to work out what half of a half is. It might help to think of it as 0 0.5 of a beat. Just have a quick think. What do you think half of a half, half of 0 0.5 is? If you thought it was a quarter or 0 0.25, Five, congratulations, you got it right. Quarter of a beat. Now, just in the same way that quavers were grouped together, semi-quavers are grouped together. When you're learning music, when you're starting to learn music, you don't tend to see semi-quavers written on their own like that. You see them in groups. And this actually makes it easier because all of the groups you're going to see add up to one beat. Let me show you what I mean. Here are four semiquavers written one after the other. One, two, three, four. We don't draw them like that. We link them together. And this is called beaming the notes together. So it actually looks like that. 
And that group is a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter. And that equals one. So that group of notes is one beat. So when we fill in our bars and we want four beats, that makes one of them. We'll do a little bit of that later. For now, it's important that you know what this rhythm sounds like. The words are digger, 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 digger. So if we drew four lots of that pattern, it would sound like this. Digger, 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 digger. Let's look at another pattern of semiquavers. There's this one. We have two semiquavers together, followed by just a normal quaver. So that is a quarter plus a quarter plus a half. Don't worry too much about adding those numbers up because I can tell you now, it just equals one. It's dead easy. Digger digger is one and this one is one. What are the words for this one? Digger. Dumb. Digger dumb. So if you went from that pattern to that pattern, it would sound like this. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger dumb digger dumb. And that is the fun of semiquavers. Let me play you that pattern. Digger 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 dumb. Digger 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 dumb. Digger dumb digger dumb. Digger 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 dumb. There's just one more that I want you to learn today. And that's if we put the quaver on its own first, followed by two semiquavers. So that's a half, because that's that one, half, plus a quarter and a quarter, because that's two of those. You don't have to worry too much about the maths. I'll just tell you now, it adds up to one. Each of these groups adds up to one. And the words are dumb, digger. So it swaps that one around. That's digger dumb. That's dumb digger. How do these patterns sound? Well, digger 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 dumb, dumb digger digger dumb, digger 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 dumb, digger dumb. We're going to have a bit of fun now writing our own patterns using semiquavers. So, you're going to need a little bit more paper or wipe off your whiteboard. These are the patterns that we need to use. So, let's draw a time signature, 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four means that there are going to be four beats in every bar. First bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar. Don't draw a line right by this time signature. You don't have to draw a line there. You draw the four and a four, then leave a space, and then comes the first line. So let's fill up these bars with these semiquaver patterns and see how it sounds. We've got to have four in each of these bars. Each of these spaces needs to have four. We can't have more than four. We can't have less than four. So I'm going to start off by just putting four digger diggers. And it will look something like this. Digger, 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 digger. Digger, 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 digger. Digger, 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 digger. Just to remind me. I'm going to just pop digger digger in there. Digger 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 digger. Then let's have four of these digger dums. Digger dum. Digger dum. Digger dum. Digger dum. And just to remind us 
how that pattern sounds. Let's write digger and dumin. So what does this music sound like? One, two, three, four. Digger, 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 dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, digger, dum. You try it. One, two, three, four. Digger, 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 dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, digger, dum. Try it on your own. One, two, three, four. Good. What shall we put in this bar, bar three? Let's put dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger. And so just help us remember dum digger. So what is this music going to sound like? One, two, three, four. Digger, 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 dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, digger, dum, digger. Try it with me. One, two, three, four. Digger, 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 dum. Digger dum, digger dum, digger dum, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger. We've got one final bar now. Now I'm going to go back to some of our old rhythms. And don't worry, I'm going to do another lesson for you when we recap on all of these basic rhythms. In case anyone's forgotten, we will recap. But this lasts for four beats so it's going to last for the whole of that bar it lasts for four beats and we call it a if you can remember world so that's how we're going to end so how will our semiquaver pattern sound well a bit like this one two three four digger 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 dum digger dum Digger dum, digger dum, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, world. Try it with me. One, two, three, four. Digger, 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 digger dum, digger dum, digger dum, digger dum, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, dum digger, world. Try it on your own. One, two, three, four. What would this rhythm sound like if we tapped it? Will sound something like this. One, two, three, four. World. Okay, guys, that is your brief introduction to semiquavers. We're going to do more of this, so don't worry. If there's anything that you don't understand, we're going to be doing some more of semiquaver patterns because it can be quite a tricky subject. But basically, that is your introduction. OK, now I'm going to show you the start of the cup song. You're going to need a cup. I've got a glass here. Just be careful with what you choose. Uh, we don't want you to hurt yourself. A plastic cup is probably best. But ask your parents and see if they can find something for you. OK, this is the first step. Clap, clap. You don't even have to touch the cup. You just do two claps. Clap, clap. So try that. OK, now. Clap, clap. Digger dum. Now you can tap the table like I did. Or you can tap the top of the cup. Clap, clap. Digger dum. It's up to you. Clap, clap, digger dum, or clap, clap, digger dum. If your cup is quite flimsy like a plastic cup, it's probably better to hit the table. So try it after me. 
Okay, good. Are you ready for step three? So, clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. We just go back to a clap. So we haven't even touched the cup. We've gone clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. Next step. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. Your hand just goes onto the cup. Don't go on too hard, but it needs to be a part of the rhythm. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. So try that after me. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to then lift the cu cup up carefully and just move it to the right and place it back down on the table. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. And that is the start of the pattern. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. Hand goes down, and it's when you place the cup back down on the table that you make the final note in the rhythm of the first half. Clap, clap, dig a dum, clap. If I was going to say that in our rhythm words, I would go coffee, dig a dum, coffee, tea. And that gives you a clue on how that rhythm would be written down. Coffee, dig a dum, coffee. But for now, just see if you can play the first half of the cup song, and that is on your worksheet too, along with some pictures. And next week, we'll have a look at the second half. Okay, but it's Mr. Bromfield, over and out.